Hey, when will I be YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know, this is still 4F Beauty. I'm still Angie. And this, well, this is a rocker box opening. This is the second one since the increase in price. So will I like what's in here? Or not? There's only one way to find out. You already got a quick glimpse of him. But he's here. To tell you it's time to grab a drink. Grab a snack. Now put your feet up. And get comfy because it's time for me to find out what I got this month. Right, so this is um, October's rocker box, it still has this separate attached bit of cardboard saying we've had a glow up. Nice dear. Thanks. Okay. Twenty pound voucher to spend at Green Box. Oh, when a six months block a box subscription, I'll hang on to that one. And the usual Virgin Wines voucher. And little card. Wake up and make up is the theme this month. Most of us have returned to some level of normality during these last few weeks. Summer is over, sob, but with that comes a welcome return to routine. I don't know about you but I relish this time of year. This is when I throw myself back into work. I invest in, or at least lust over, a new season work wardrobe and I pick up my skincare routine where I was starting to get a little slack. Late night apparels, last minute staycays, kids off school, none of it aligns well with a structured beauty routine. On the assumption that I'm not the only one that feels this way, we've decided to dedicate this month's Rockerbock Lux to the products we feel make the transition back to routine as seamless as possible. Because for all of its benefits, this time of year can definitely be a little challenging in the beauty department, as many of us head back to the office after 18 months of working from home and return to school runs, nursery drop-offs, we start to wonder whether pre-lockdown mornings were always this rushed. Well, with this beauty edit, we're providing you with the tools to throw yourself into the early starts, looking and feeling pulled together. These are the multitaskers to help you save time on a morning without compromising how you look. This is the kit for giving you an instantly uplifted and wide awake appearance. These are the products that will help you achieve and maintain a glow as life becomes more hectic. This is your tried and tested wake up and make up box and it does exactly what it says on the tin. Right, that's the blurb. Let's find out what we got, shall we? Right. So the first thing in here, you sort of your star item, is oh, it's a Paul and Joe protecting foundation primer, and it's the full size. Now normally. In other subscription boxes, you get a baby one like that. See? Because I've got the little baby one here that I've been using. That's shade one. This is shade two. It is slightly deeper. Hopefully, it won't be too deep for me. The RRP for this is 28 quid. We genuinely believe this product will transform your mornings. It's a primer, yes, so it'll make your foundation sit better, wear longer, 
and basically look more flawless but it's also far more than that what you get from this gorgeous product is a serum consistency that hydrates and moisturizes the skin a lightweight coverage that smooths over pores and delivers a subtle glow SPF 50 and a formula that holds up and keeps makeup in place even in humid conditions yes central line we mean you Basically it performs four key functions, skincare, coverage, primer and SPF in one product. So you can save time each morning without compromising your base. Okay. Next thing in here is a My Kit Co My Precise Crease Synthetic Hair Brush. Obviously full size. Nice and soft. Nice and Good for if you've got hooded or deep set eyes. Look at how tapered that is. This is worth £14. I've not tried my Kitco brushes before. I have got a couple of their um, Z palettes though, which is obviously not the same thing. We call it the WH Smith effect. Every year around now, we get that same back to school desire to invest in some new kit except we've traded in pencils and protractors for really good makeup brushes I still buy pencils and pens in September this month we've all been raving over the quality and payoff of this brand's brush range our recent return to eyeshadow which we admit has had limited place in our lives for a while means we're particularly loving this crease brush which has exceptional product pickup and dispersion skills and is giving our shadow a really defined expert finish. As I said, that's worth £14. Next thing in here is a travel size Ico Lash Alert. RRP 10 quid. Now I don't know if the RRP is for this travel size or the full size, it doesn't say. Mascara is a really personal choice, just like with skin tone, type and concerns. Everyone has a very different lashes and their own set of requirements for a mascara. But we couldn't ignore the endless and wide-ranging rave reviews of this bestseller and had to give it a try. And rather predictably, perhaps, our team gave it a unanimously glowing report. It lifts as it lengthens, it never clumps, it curls even my stubborn straight lashes. It's genuinely improving the condition of my lashes. Whether it's the innovative Korean tubing formula or the unique inclusion of caffeine that makes this such a hit, we don't know, but we really couldn't keep you in the dark over this wonder product any longer. I'm not normally a fan of tubing mascaras, but once I've got to the three month stage on one of the three, four mascaras I've got open now, I will give that a go for you. Next thing is this Monu Skin Exfoliating Enzyme, full size, worth 35 quid. If you love that deep, clean, super soft feeling and dewy glowing look you get from a good exfoliation but aren't keen on scrubs, then you'll love this. Layer a couple of pumps of this fruit acid enriched enzyme over cleansed skin leave for five minutes before washing away. It cleverly sets off a skincare reaction that unglues the bonds between dead skin cells, sloughing them off. Don't be put off by that, it's a very gentle chemical process that doesn't disrupt the skin's pH, so it's actually perfect for sensitive skin. You'll reap the glowy benefits of a deep exfoliating facial in just a few slightly tingly minutes. Okay. And then there's this from Floss, this is full size, the Concierge Lip and Cheek Tint in shades Sandals, Marigo and Villa. I've got shade Villa. Nice little component. Oh, it's an unscrew, okay. And it's a sort of pumpkin y kind of no specific scent to it, but it's it's sort of a a deep pumpkin y shade. 
A makeup artist once told me one of the quickest ways, quickest and most flattering ways to pull your look together was to use the same colour on your lips and cheeks. With the right shade it gives a really real looking flush of colour, instantly lifts your complexion and the universal use of colour, particularly if the colour is fairly sheer, appears tailored, glossy and modern. It's advice I always return to especially when I'm rushing somewhere and need an instant beauty boost or if I want to look pulled together but a full face of makeup is too full on. It's also why since discovering this gorgeous chunky chubstick it's become such a staple in my makeup bag. Simply glide its hydrating tint effortlessly onto lips and cheeks and then blend quickly with your fingers for a seamless and last all day finish. As I said, $15.99 that is. And then we get an extra treat. Raffaello. Because we love to treat you, we popped in a trio of Raffaellos which you can enjoy with a cuppa in the morning or wait to indulge when you're back from your busy day. These tasty treats contain a whole almond, smooth velvety filling and a sprinkling of coconuts. Yum. Contains nuts. No, really? You've mentioned almond and coconut. Of course it contains... Okay. This was a better box than last month. Because we have got two makeup items in it. We've got the mascara and the lip and cheek tint. We've also got the full size version of a primer that I do like. Just hope shade 2 isn't going to be too dark on me. Um, we've got this exfoliating enzyme, papaya enzyme, the brush and chocolate. So yeah, um, I'm happier this month than I was last month. So I will get next month's. Um, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, they're obviously they're including more full-sized items than they were before, um, which, for the increased price, is, is is you know fair enough. Um, and like I said, there were two good makeup items in there. I much prefer when they do a mix of makeup and skincare or you know, like primers and that sort of thing because skincare and primers can vary very much per individual. God, my hair's gone so flat today. My hair went flat. Man, I hate that. And then the Shania song. Ugh, a bit late to worry about now, isn't it? Um, yeah, I much prefer when you've got a good couple of makeup items in there because, as I said, that enzyme peel I probably won't use because my skin has not reacted well to enzyme peels in the past. I have to use a physical exfoliant so that I can control to be quite honest I tend to use a lip scrub um, as my exfoliant because I can control then exactly how hard or how vigorous I, I am with the physical sloughing off you know not hearing hubby come down the stairs must just put something through the door a bit heavily. Um, yeah, so I'm happier to see more makeup in there this time. I would rather they did 
makeup than skincare but I understand they are a smaller company it depends what they can get for each month but so far I'm happy to continue to have next month's box so what did you think what was your favourite item that I got out of the box today have you tried that Paul and Joe primer what do you think of it have you tried the eye care my kit co not eye care my kit co brushes before um, what's your opinion on it bearing in mind that that's 15 quid plus 4 quid postage so 19 quid obviously the contents have more than covered the price of the box itself and asking the question that I asked last month knowing what's in there would I have still paid the 19 quid this month yes I would so the gamble paid off right my lovelies if you're one of my regular viewers, please double check you are still subscribed. YouTube are still unsubscribing people, but they're leaving me in your feed, so it's not obvious that you've been deleted. Uh, once you've done that, it's also worth double checking your notification status. Mine keeps getting knocked back to personalised from all, which means I don't get any at all, which is really frustrating. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. Um, do you want to come stick your head in and say hello? Yeah, I'll quickly stick my head in. Hello. Very sparkly. Thank you. Have you been uh, crashing into the unicorns? Yes. Yes, uh, I have butted a unicorn. Outrageous. Where did it go? I'll have to hunt down that unicorn. No. And bring him back here so we can huddle him all day. Yes. I would say stroke his horn, but that would sound rude. <laughs> Sorry. If you're new to my channel, that's my husband. <laughs> uh, he's a little bit nuts, but then so am I. So it kind of works. Uh, if you are new here, it would be lovely if you'd like to join the 4F family. We are the nicest family on YouTube. While well, hubby's clattering around in the Sorry. fridge. I'm being sneaky. You're really not. Um, it's super easy to do. All you've got to do is hit that red subscribe button and then turn it grey. Then ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications in the hope YouTube pull their finger out and actually send you some. In the meantime, I've got a lot of other films you can be perusing. This eye look should be up by now. Um, I've got tutorials, collabs, challenges, tags, product reviews. I'm even reading my favourite poem in one of them. So you're going to find something that you find interesting. So if you want a little bit of me time, grab your drink and snack of choice, be that a coffee and a custard cream or an energy drink and an Eccles cake. Oh, I could just go for an Eccles cake right now. I haven't got any. Hmm. I don't think I've got any raisins to be able to make any either. Balls. Anyway, uh, grab the drink and snack, pick a playlist, put your feet up and enjoy. Right, clearly my brain is now thinking Eccles Cakes, so it's time for me to stop filming because you're going to get no more sense out of me, not that you get much anyway, for the rest of the day. So all that remains for me to say as ever, my darlings, is you'll stay fabulous, and I, well I'll see you next time. Bye for now.